Hello and welcome, welcome to Business Angola. Today we visit Angola's national airline, TOG, a company with over 70 years of aviation history. Similar to many carriers, TOG is undergoing a transformation in order to confront the challenges of the times. With a new management team, a new partnership with Iberia Airlines, new destinations on the horizon and a firm commitment to making Luanda a global cargo hub, TOG's future looks promising. We are on a domestic TAG flight from the capital of Luanda to the northern agricultural and mining province of Weij. It's one of the airline's 14 destinations inside Angola, along with a dozen international destinations and counting. Passengers are seeing a difference in the new TAG, the acronym for Transportes Aéreos Angolanos. One diamond trader is on his way to a meeting in Weij and likes not having to drive more than four hours anymore to get there. It's like 45 minutes only Luanda to Weij. Uh, I think it's better because people can do things like really quickly. Not only quickly, but in comfort. The service, it's also improving the progress. It's uh, visible. All people can see Chag, it's uh, making progress even Services, prices, I think they are in a good way. That's what the new CEO, Eduardo Feiren, likes to hear. With decades of experience running airlines in Latin America and Spain, he's turning TAG around with a new team. I have had the fantastic opportunity to launch successful airlines and also revamp other ones. And I have had also the opportunity to enjoy having and have collaborated with fantastic team members that allow us to reach those goals. No? All of us, we are aligned with the objective that is very simple. We want to play on the championship. To do that, they're teaming up with Iberia in a code-sharing agreement. Now that TAG is again fully certified by European regulators, the alliance with a Spanish carrier is a major boost for TAG to spread its wings across the globe. Iberia has been a very good uh, deal eh? because in fact TAG needs to come up and show up on the international scene for the very first time. For TAG, it will tap into Iberia's hub in Madrid, connecting it to the world. A link with Iberia means they can access not only a wider reach of destinations in Europe, but also in North and South America too. It's definitely a win-win. There's no massive cost involved. There's increased exposure for both airlines. It's going to really improve uh, access both for business, for trade and for tourism, as well as its own citizens, many of whom live in Europe and want to travel home. Meanwhile, Angola is building itself as a major hub in Africa with a new airport in the capital, Luanda, that's to open at the end of next year. Antonio Agostinho Neto Airport, named after the country's first president, is being built to handle 15 million passengers a year. On the West African area, that will be probably the only hub that is operating because the closest hub could be Dakar or Casablanca. And on the south, Joburg is on the southern side. It's four hours away from here. That's why TAG is already adding flights to expand that reach. More flights to Mozambique, Namibia, and Brazil, as well as Cabinda in Angola, to meet market demand. Also moving fast on the horizon, TAG going private by 2025, which could help it raise the capital needed for its expansion. The key to that is investor confidence, says airline consultant John Strickland. It has a good opportunity to grow for the future uh, and provided investors have that confidence that the business has been run commercially, they may well be able to attract adequate funds for this privatization plan. With that new partnership bringing a wider reach for TOG, one of Africa's most historic national airlines is betting on an ambitious strategy. That's all on Business Angola today. You will see this report and many others on the Special Angola page on Euronews.com.